Hello, my name is Bailey, and I'm going to be presenting the Organizational Design Structure and Change presentation. The objective of this presentation is to identify Starbucks as one of the Fortune magazine's most admired. Um, we will also take a look at an area of underperformance and the effects of the Starbucks organizational structure, their design and culture. We'll also look at a plan of improvement using the Cotter's change model. We'll see how we can manage challenges and propose how we can strategically lead and foster collaboration in the organization of Starbucks. We'll also take a look at what lessons we've learned while discussing this. Fortune Magazine has elected Starbucks like Coffee now. Company like as it. one of the top most but admired companies in the United now. States. They do look at eight dimensions and criteria that Starbucks could meet. Those would be innovative, quality of management, long-term investments, social responsibility, people management, quality of products and services, and financial soundness, and Starbucks really scored well. Starbucks has been an American coffee crafter since 1971. They are conscious capitalists and they have a higher purpose. Servant leaders inside Starbucks are committed to making their employees partners proud and investing in their health, well being, and success. Starbucks also has a culture of belonging and positivity. While analyzing the eight dimensions where Starbucks um, performed well, there was a slight underperformance with the innovation. They are most admired in the list in Fortune magazine. They are lacking in innovation and they did improve on their rating overall score from the previous year, which was great. And their social responsibility was outstanding because customers expect constant innovation and creativity. The lack of innovation could allow competition to take over. Starbucks has a matrix organizational structure. There's functional hierarchy, there's geography division, they have multiple teams, and their customer service quality is enhanced because of this organizational structure. A matrix organization is a company structure where teams report to multiple leaders. The matrix design keeps open communication between teams and can help companies create more innovative products and services. Using the structure prevents teams from needing to realign every time a new project begins. A hierarchical organizational chart has like a CEO at the top, which Starbucks does have. The chief operating officer um, and the chief financial officer are right below. The department managers then branch off from the top leadership roles with project managers branching off from there. And so Starbucks matrix organization structure is balanced. The team lead and leadership do have equal authority. Starbucks is a relationship driven organization. They create an atmosphere of very people centered and very polite and kind while providing a service to you that you enjoy. Starbucks has fostered a driven employee first approach and that encourages staff to form closer bonds to each other. They also know the importance of being diverse and including and when there's a social movement that impacts any social injustice, they welcome it and adopt changes that positively influence the community. Their coffee is sustainably sourced their straws, their cups, all of that is recyclable. They also really encourage you 
to get a reusable cup to limit the waste products that we get in our landfills, which is also very great. Starbucks strives to be effective in their goals through their technology. Starbucks did introduce their ordering app, which has come in handy during the pandemic. Utilizing technology during the pandemic really heightened the sales of Starbucks. They showed their adaptability to our global crisis. Overall, they also gained new customers and increased the consumer and profits that they received. Utilizing the mobile application has limited customers coming in contact with any of the illnesses that are now going around. It does show that Starbucks does put their customers and people first. They're protecting their employees as well as the customers by being able to provide them a service without having to be face-to-face -face in contact. Personally, I use the mobile app every single day, and I enjoy not having to go into the actual building, even though the atmosphere of Starbucks is very delightful. I like to keep my family safe, and so I'm able to just pick up what I want from the mobile app and get on out of there. According to Starbucks website, they are performance driven through the lens of humanity. Starbucks embraces conscious capitalism through their mission and their values in creating a culture of belonging as well as promoting um, well-being. Ethically sourced coffee beans and a commitment to sustainability for the planet is one of Starbucks major conscious capitalism attributes. They have a diversity and inclusion culture that really helps the atmosphere feel belonging to everyone who enters and everyone who is an employee there. Their emphasis with the community and stakeholders and how they keep each other accountable to make sure they're providing the best customer service possible with the most sustainable resources is outstanding and that embodies conscious capitalism. Looking at Cotter's eight step model for organizational change, an improvement plan for Starbucks would include generating importance of how innovative can draw in more customers. They can construct partnerships of groups that can come up with creative ways to be innovative for the customers. They can also form a strategic vision and find a blueprint for the future of what innovative and creativity could look like for them. Also, they could gather some volunteers um, within the organization to come up with some innovative ideas. They will then need to enable action by removing barriers. They can generate some short-term wins and sustain acceleration and institute change and put it in motion. In order to overcome innovation and not score as low as in that criteria for a Fortune 500, I believe that people need to be a part of the change. They need to motivate partners to stay committed to innovation, and that would be leadership that needs to encourage and implement creativity within the employees. They also need to reward innovation and empower managers no matter where they are in the hierarchy with those decisions that they can make within the team. Also, Starbucks does really well at remaining positive even when there are barriers, but they need to continue to strive for positive. 
as long as Starbucks stays in communication with its customers and with their employees by holding roundtables and socializing uh, the new hires to establish the culture. The risk of not becoming more innovative and scoring higher is lesser once they start implementing and managing these challenges. Starbucks is one of the best leaders of conscious capitalism in the United States. They need to remember that servant leadership and emotional intelligence is important, that it is important to continue to be innovative and supportive of the employees. They need to keep them motivated and allow them to be creative. Giving power to middle bosses would also help in implementing that innovation. And Starbucks should always continue to live by the higher purpose and integrate employees into the people first culture, therefore providing the best customer service that they can while being a servant leader. Starbucks is almost a perfect example of what we should model every business after to make that mutual atmosphere of warmth and belonging and by being sustainable, thinking about the planet as well as their own employees. And every everyone should follow the model that Starbucks has created because they are one of the top notch and most profitable companies in the United States.